If you have watched last week's vlog carefully, you might remember that I have briefly mentioned that I was ill. Now, I do feel better. I'm back with the team on the master suite renovation site. On the down side, however, I'm still not 100%. And this morning, when I looked into the mirror to decide whether I'm presentable, I found my first gray hair. Now, you might say this is normal for a man in his mid-30s, but as a world-leading waste pipe influencer, I make an obscene amount of money thanks to my good looks, so this is an issue. Anyways, I'm going to sort out this situation up there. In here, there's all the electrical cables that come from the three rooms, and there's also the ventilation pipes from the bathroom. And if everything is sorted out, I can install, and this is going to be the single most challenging step in this whole renovation journey, the lid up here to close the plasterboard off. Few people have the qualification to do this kind of job. I have, it needs precision measuring. We will see why. I'm here in the attic space and that's because I need to install a ventilation pipe coming from here down into that hollow space in the ceiling. And from there, there are two pipes, one to the toilet, one to the bathroom. And here there will be a suction machine. It's not called a suction machine, but it describes what it does. It sucks the odors and the moist air out of the toilet and the bathroom and blows it into the into the air. Now I'm going to connect the two ventilation pipes that come from the bathroom and the toilet with you see the two little pipes with the big pipe that they just installed. I have big hands and because I have big hands I also have big fingers uh, and so it's a bit difficult for me to peel off tape sometimes. I'm really pleased, I'm really pleased. Um, so, so we're connected. That's the instructions. It says, das Installationsvideo finden Sie hier. Wenn Sie Fragen zum Produkt oder zur Installation haben, kontaktieren Sie uns bitte unter und so weiter. Ein Video. I'm not gonna watch a video. That goes inside. The screws. What are these? Why are the screws? <sighs> the question is, did I cut properly? <laughs> Great. What do you think? Now I just need to do it from the other side, obviously. Um, oh, that's good. So first step done now, I need to screw it in. Look at this! Look at this beauty! I just need some visual improvements all around here and, and we're done. Super clever, there was a spare mechanism and I glued it to the back of this lid for future generations. If ever that breaks, they will know there's a spare mechanism. I can't believe I did that all by myself. I'm done for this week. Now I can relax. Whilst I've been setting up my studio space, I came across this fabric, which I printed actually last year. It's the same motif that I printed on the wallpaper in the gold room. But as we only have a tiny bit of that wallpaper, I thought it was such a shame and I wanted to see how it turned out on fabric and it's really pretty. I've been wanting to make it into a pair of cushions for ages, but I'd completely forgotten about this fabric. And since I got everything out, I found it again. I've now set up my sewing machine. I've made myself a little sewing table over here and I'm really looking forward to actually turning these into some cushions today. And I'm going to use my print on the front side, like this. I've got this really beautiful it's a very fine velvet, dark blue velvet, which matches really well in with the print. And I think I'm going to make some piping. If I have enough velvet left over, I'd like to make a blue velvet piping to go around the edge. I love the fact that you can print the fabric with the same lino stamp that I created to make the wallpaper. For me, 
printing fabric, it just always reminds me of my student days when I was at Central St. Martins. I love to be in the print room. That was my absolute favorite place to be. I love seeing the magic of transforming a fabric. So even if you're renting or you're not a big fan of wallpaper, you just want a little touch of print, this is a great way to bring a little bit of print into any room. I have a brand new pair of scissors and I've put some fabric on them. So there's no way Philip is gonna be able to use these. I'm gonna be hiding them in here. Philip, these are only for fabric. Now I cleaned this room and it looks so much better. But now watch me transforming this room even further. Look at this. One hit. Ugly. But now wait. And as if one wasn't enough. Look at this. Uh, look at this. This kind of accomplishment makes me the most popular father figure in this family. You are a role model, incredibly talented and probably the strongest man on earth. Oh, thank you. But it helps us also to get the most amazing sponsors for this show, like for example Squarespace. And only one platform to create a wonderful online presence, which also happens to be this week's ad. Speaking of ads, they just released an advert directed by Martin Scorsese. It's funny, you should watch it. Go on their website and watch the ad, really. I like it. I mean, what a company. Martin Scorsese directs their ads. Philip makes their advertisement. Yes, it should be the other way around. I agree. But their expertise is helping everybody to create a beautiful and functioning web page. And this without any programming skills. Because it's based on templates, which you can choose according to your needs and your style. It's an ideal platform to run an e-commerce business to show your portfolio to the world or to have a page where people can book appointments or subscribe to online classes. They even have a module now to invoice your clients if that's what you need to do. So you have all your project management tools on one platform. So if you would like to see how easy it is to create your own beautiful web presence, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. If you're ready to launch, head over to squarespace.com slash how to renovate a shuttle for 10% off your first purchase of a web page or domain. Despite all my efforts to establish gender equality in my family, 
I'm always the one who has to take the rubbish to the tip. It's still a long way to go for us men, but I keep fighting. Done. I'm super relieved now. That was so necessary. Now I can go home and I don't know what I have to do. I go home. That's one of the best moments when you renovate and you finally can get rid of all your rubbish somewhere. Very nice lady there, I must say. Really helpful. And I made a mistake and I wasn't told off like usually. She just said, it's not your fault, you couldn't know. And I said, yes, it's my fault, I should have known. And then uh, together we climbed into the bin and took the things out and put it in the right place. So it was a good experience, a very good dumping ground experience. They're finished! Ta-da! Nice! So I thought I'd put them in here. What do you think? Beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, it looks really nice, Anna. I'm They're really so happy. pretty. Yeah. I love them. Yes. <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah, I'm super happy. I think it works quite nicely actually with the two different prints together yeah. with the blues and greens. They always say blue and green should be seen. So I think it works nicely. The blue is also picked up a bit in that cushion. Thank wow. you. Wow, really, really <laughs> nice. Look at this. I'm so proud of you. You are so talented in making these things, but you are also extremely talented in teaching other people how to make these things, right? Well, that's... And it's a hint because Anna, <laughs> as you know, made a wonderful course last year called Home Print Academy. And there's a new edition of this course. When, Anna? When? Uh, the 5th of March. The 5th of March. And if you want to learn how to make these or wallpaper or any kind of prints for your home, you need to... Sign up to my early bird waitlist. Sign up to Anna's early bird waitlist. And that's because places are limited, highly limited. And generally these spots fill up super quick. So if you sign up early enough, which means the best thing would be to sign up right after this video ends, then you get all the information and you will not lose your spot and you will be able to make these things in a very short time and be happy. How, how was I promoting your course? I give you a 10 out of 10. Oh, thank you. Good job. This week I haven't done that much for the vlog, but that's because I've been filming some videos which we are going to start releasing next week. And those videos are explaining all about my course, all about my method of teaching, what you can learn. So if you're interested in watching those videos, I don't think we're going to release all of them, are we, on YouTube? We're not sure yet. Would you like Maybe. us to release those on YouTube? Or if not, we might only release one or two and the rest of them will only go to the people who are on the early bird wait list. So let us know in the comments. Sorry. Thanks guys. Philip, I know you're having fun playing. Yes. But should we go and have a look at what's happened this yes. week in the Master Let's Suite? Let's go. Come see. Come. Let's start with the most uh, iconic transformation, probably since the beginning of this renovation journey. Up here. Look at this. What's happened? Well, there's a clappy. There's a lid. Is that? Yeah. Is it, well, I mean, the lid is here. The lid is here, but that closes up here. Oh, wow. Yes. Fill it. I made that. And it fits. And it almost perfectly. And for the not perfect part, Maxime said already he knows how to fix it. <laughs> Look at this. Ta da! Ooh! <gasps> oh, great work. 
And, Great work. And because I was in a, in a role this week, I did a second one. No way. Yes. And it's looking tidy here. Yeah, I cleaned. Look at this. I cleaned, I cleaned. This is Benoit's thing. So he said he wants to keep all of these things. He wants to keep his mess in our, yeah. in our house. In our house. <laughs> and here? And in here, it looks like we've taken a step back because we had beautifully painted cupboards, but now they are stained. But that is actually because Maxime has done all of the filling. Mm, the cracks. One of those tedious jobs. But look at this wall now. Look at this wall. Yes. You'd never know that Philip and Benoit were plasterboarding here. What do you mean? It's so perfect. It's almost too perfect. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have our signature, you know, wonky things. <laughs> our signature wonky wall. And look yeah. what I really love here is when you look through these rooms. And we see Ziggy. And we see Ziggy, but we also see He's posing. all the way on the other side of the house. Yeah. And it's so sunny today, like the first time, I feel like spring is just about to appear because it's finally sunny and some of the trees are starting to blossom, the daffodils are coming out. Oh, it's a mess. The glass is dirty. <gasps> we need to do so much in the garden, Philip. And in here, I don't know what, uh, Maxime did a bit of, um, oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah, he sorted he out sorted this wall. He sorted this wall because it was still... A, yeah, because there was the distemper on this wall, and even though we used the Acrofix to try and glue it, it didn't seem to work. But now it's fine. Yeah, I think he's replastered it, and it seems to be pretty solid. There's a few holes still. I think he's going to repair the ceiling because I made a few dents. So he's basically doing repairing all of our mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> and then look, but the biggest, the biggest improvement here. Wow. Look at this room. This is looking like a real room, except for the floor. Don't look at the floor. Uh, look at the walls. It's almost like painted. It's just plaster. And it is so smooth. You would never know that I made the plasterboard. That you made the plasterboard and attempted to do the bands of the plasterboard. Because they are hidden under 10 layers of plaster now. Yeah, that is amazing. We're almost there, man. Yeah, I literally just need to measure up for ordering the paint. We've made our paint choice. But we don't tell you which paint choice we made. We may have changed our mind. Because That's just a hint. Exactly, because we always change our minds. So I don't want to say it now and then every week come up with a new paint scheme. Yeah, because you never know. We might change our minds again. Yes. We don't, you know. But we ordered the paint. Yes, we ordered the paint. Well, we haven't ordered it. I'm going to go and order it now. I'm just going to measure up for everything order it, because I think Maxime is basically waiting for us to order the paint now. Yeah. What is and it? we've held off as long as possible, but yeah. And, and the, the tiles. And the tiles. We've also chosen the tiles. Yeah. By next week we should be finished, right? Yeah. By next week in three months. 